Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Acacia. Sometimes you buy a foundation online and when it arrives, you realize it is just not the right shade. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys what to do before you return that foundation. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha, and on this channel, I post a lot of skincare, hair, lifestyle, makeup-related videos. If that is something you are interested in, then make sure you are subscribed. Go ahead and follow me on my other socials. It is always, it's Lakeisha. And without further ado, Let's get started. Color theory is the basis of choosing the correct foundation for you. It has a lot to do with your undertone. But for people who are new to makeup, some of that theory just goes right over your head. And for people with darker skin complexions like myself, it's not as easy as just looking at your veins because I can't see them. I have a neutral foundation. This is one that I selected online based on the description and the photo. However, it is not my skin tone. <laughs> but it is a neutral, and this is a really good thing for this experiment. This is actually a really good foundation. It's the skin improving foundation with SPF 25 from Kosas. This one was gifted to me. It is filled with like hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, peptides, squalanes. Like it is an amazing product that is supposed to improve your skin as well as cover your skin. It has such good coverage. However, it's just not my color. Here on my makeup palette, I have a few different swatches of some colored makeup. I have a blue lipstick, a green color corrector, a red liquid blush, as well as a color wheel. I've gone ahead and put swatches of these colors on this palette. These are considered your undertones. Putting your foundation to this type of test will help you figure out where you went wrong and what you need to do to correct it. First of all, here is my foundation. As you guys can see, this is not my color. Let me zoom in. Um, yeah, definitely not my color. I'm adding a drop of foundation to each one of these undertones to see what I need to adjust. Let me just clean off my face. <laughs> Clean face. So first here is green. Okay, still a little bit too light. Next we have blue. It looks a little washed out. Next we have orange. Okay, that really looks orange. Um, not quite. We're getting a little bit warmer, but not quite there. Here is our yellow. It's very, very bright, but also not the right tone. Next we have, I'm gonna put it on this side, we have the red. Okay, that actually looks a lot better. It looks like my skin tone, that looks good. And just for good measure, let's try the darker color as well. See, it looks good, but it needs a little bit of toning to it. So here are all the swatches and you can see it looks like what you would see online. From these swatches, I can definitely say that I'm not an olive complexion. I have more of a warm tone complexion. It's not golden because the orange and the yellow looks a little bit weird, but it is a little bit more red. So I can confidently say I have a red undertone. I can also say that it does need to be a bit darker. As you can see with the darker foundation, it blends in so much more than this does. For people with darker complexions, we do tend to have a two-tone face where there is more of a lighter shade in the inside and a darker shade on the outside. So because of the yellow in my face, I would definitely say that I'm kind of a mix of the red, orange, and the darker shades. So let's see if mixing those three tones will give me my perfect foundation match. So we have red, we have orange and a deeper tone. Mix those together. Wow, look at that match. That actually looks so, like wow, y'all, where did that go? That just disappeared. Let's just blend that out a little bit. But y'all, that just absolutely disappeared into my skin. There you go, perfect match. You can play around with the different ratios to find your perfect match, but this will definitely be a jumping off point. So now I can return this foundation and confidently know that I'm looking for a foundation that's slightly darker with a red tone to it and a little hint of orange. So, <laughs> me with my swatches on my face. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Comment down below and let me know if you tried this before and what have you discovered about your undertone. I would love to hear your thoughts. Go ahead and click over here to see some of my previous videos and as always, stay gorgeous, stay fabulous and I'll see you lovely ladies and gents in my next video. Bye!